a new day, a fresh challenge, but a superb workout experience. I am Chris, your fitness coach, and you are watching Chris's Challenge. Yes, today Edward Ejekun Kufo is determined to challenge himself using his own body weight. Before that, let's get the full clearance from Pamela. Good morning. My name is Pamela. Hi. Nice meeting you. This is Omar. Omar Kung Kufo. Nice meeting you. Um, Chris has asked me to check you out. And so I'll assess you and then we'll see how it goes and then you're good to go to start your challenge. Okay. Right. Please follow me. Thank you. Any back problems? Do you have any knee problems? Do you have, have you had any injuries? Well, no, no knee problems, no, but I have back problems and I think it's inherent but um mm. yeah I, I still am very active i play tennis okay okay so you so. you play tennis you you jog yeah well jogging late being no because i've been advised it's not good for my back so yeah if if there is something mechanically wrong yeah. then the shocks from the running yeah, could so possibly that's exactly aggravate it told. yes okay so okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to check your lower back and your pelvic girdle okay. just to make sure because chris says you're going to just be using body weight exactly to tone your tone, tone your muscles okay. so we need to make sure that the alignment is okay and Difference between the two? Um, I think the left went further than the right. What went further than the right? Yes, yes. I was able to. Yes, the right seemed the a little bit stiff. Restricted. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that pain when you do that? Right on the right side is ten. Where my yeah, yeah where my finger is right. Okay. right Go again. And back up. Okay. So your right side seems to be a little bit misaligned compared to yes. the left. It's like you I'm feel, compensating. You feel it? Yes. Yeah. Because when it's tender, I don't like to step. So I always, okay. the doctor told me I was compensating. Okay. My alignment was a little off. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to align your pelvic girdle. Mm -hmm. Good. Did you feel that? Yes, I did. Well, click. Yep. <laughs> And if this is not aligned well, if you, when you start working out, mm -hmm. might, you might be doing well, but then at some point, if you do maybe a faster movement, mm -hmm. you could aggravate it and then you could just Go be in excruciating pain, wow. right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Is there a difference? Yes, yes. Okay. I can feel the range is even better. It's better. Yes. Good, good. And now you take the leg back again, how you did before, back and out. How is that? Yes. Is it hurting? No, it's not. It's, it's, it's just weird. It, it just seems like, wow. Okay. Because I was I was being very careful the first yeah. time because I was yeah. expecting a pain. You were expecting pain. Yes. Okay, good. Nice. Good. Okay. So, I've done the assessment. As you realized, um, there was something wrong with your right pelvic girdle. Yes. Um, so, we've aligned that. Okay. Um, hopefully, it will be fine. In case when you start working out with Chris, in case it starts giving you any problems anymore. Just let me know and okay. then you come back for a review. Okay. You might need a medical massage in between, but it should, you should be good to go. Fantastic. Okay, Thank so you. you can take up your challenge. Thank you, I feel good. Good. I'm ready. Have a nice day. You too. Thank okay. you, Doc. Take care, bye-bye. Now that Pamela has cleared him, are you ready at home? Bro, you ready? Let's go for a break. We'll be back.
Welcome back. Bro, you ready? Ready to go. You're going to start. But before then, like I said, every workout, you have to start from stretches, the warm up. Let's start slowly. Viewers at home, let's go along. Let's go with me. Let's go stretch. Breathe in all the way up. Down. Again. And down. One more. Let's go. Breathe in. Now grab your hands up right here. Now let's move. Once I'm, I'm going to move to the right direction. So you to move to the right direction slowly. Make sure you hold on into your stomach. And then come. Again, let's go on the side. Again. And again. You okay? Now 10. And I turn to the other side. Let me hear from you. If any unusual feeling, let me know. Now stretch again. Now down slowly. If you can, you can put your hands down flat. Are you okay? Comfortable? Great. Let's grab both toes. And now move to the right. Up slowly. Now let's turn this direction. Let's go slowly, slowly, slowly. Now move the opposite direction again. Slowly, slowly. Now let's try and cross the legs. Are you okay? This particular exercise, it helps your balance. Go down slowly to the top. Up. And again. Breathe, don't hold on your breath. Now look at me. One and two steps. Beautiful. Again. Again. How many? This is the last one. Let's go. Bend like this, make sure. Let me see, slowly, don't go too much. Let me see how far you can go. Now can you turn? Are you okay? Now stretch your hand like this. Beautiful. One, two, three, four. Back and up. Wow. Now stretch again. Move. First, go down slowly first. If you can, you can go. Don't force yourself too much. Are you okay? Comfortable? You okay? Now set and turn. One, two, three, four, five. You got it? Great. One, two, three, and back. And grab. One, two, three, back, and up. Now let's go for the two. Calf raises for your calves. One, let's go. Two, let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven. Go, go, ten. One leg in front, bend the knee. Bend the back knee, grab it. One, two, three. Change. Now grab your waist, shoulder strong. One, two, Three, four, hold on into your belly. And then the last one, on the back, let's go. Do your own thing. Let's lose our back, let's lose in the back. One, let's go, let's lose in the back. Two, let's lose in the back. Let's lose in the back, let's lose in the back. Let's do the back, the back, the back, the back, the back, the back, the back. Check your balance, grab. 
Keep on. Keep the legs straight. One. <laughs> Let's try the other one too. Exactly. Let's try. Go. You're struggling. You okay? Flat foot. Two. Three. Go. 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 Let's go. One, two. Go. Now look at me. Now let's go. One, two. Breathe. Breathe. Okay. Okay. Now let's go. Now, let's change. Now let's go jump. Just stop. Let's go for a break. We'll be back. Welcome back to Chris's challenge. Bro, you ready? Well, I guess after the warm-up and the cardio, I think I'm ready. I'm happy. Viewers, you ready? Let's go for it. Open up, but we're going to tackle the stomach first. Down, one. And then up. Let's go. One, two. Then make sure you're doing it right. You're on course. Let's go. Now let's go. One. You have to come up before you go down. Come up straight. Hold on to your core. Come in, not down. What? Four. Keep the leg straight and bang, go down. Let's go. Keep the leg straight and bang the upper body. Or on the lower abdomen. Lower abdomen, the lower core. Go. Go. Oh. Go. You good? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Now one, two, three. Where do you feel it? The stomach. Just only the upper body. No movement on the lower body. Only the upper body. Let's go. One, two, three. You sure? Come on. Go. 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 We are now getting to the second phase of the challenge. Viewers, if you are ready, you have a mat, grab it. Let's go to the floor and see what we have. 
You ready? Viewers at home, if you can't do the four, I'm gonna demonstrate. So let's do the halfway like this. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six. Up and down slowly. One. Again. Two. Slowly. Three. You're doing five. Four. Five. Back to position. Stretch back again. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Ah. Counting. Four. Five. I'm good. You good? Woo. Good. Put your hand right here. You good? Um. Let's go. And down. Again. And down. Again. And down. Last two. And the last one. And down. Down. Again. Down. Again. Down. How many? Let's go. How many? And the last one. I want to see how many seconds, how many minutes you can go. We call it the challenge within the challenge. The real test, the real challenge. You ready? Go for it. Beautiful. Great. Ha! Huh. What was that? You did one minute, five seconds. It's a plus. So 65 seconds, right? Yep. That's more than I thought I could do. I'm waiting. Who overthrown this time? Hey, Jakum. Kofor. Yeah. Talk to me. I'm 48. This is a challenge. Very impressive. Very impressive. I'm waiting for someone who will come and overthrow you <laughs> and break your record. So you have the record now. One minute, five seconds. Mr. Jakum, mm -hmm. I know if I say Mr. Jakum, I'm not referring to your father though. <laughs> I was going to get you. <laughs> I know you were reverend, a farmer, Businessman, and what again? I, uh, I mean, a, a philanthropist in all. That's correct. Well, I've um, recently been ordained at Action Chapel by His Eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, and I received my calling under his guidance. And now I'm a fully consecrated, anointed. Holy Ghost talking pastor. Reverend Eddie. <laughs> Reverend Eddie. Eddie Kuhn. Yes. Kuhn. Yes. Tell me, how does it feel like? How is the feeling like walking around town, supermarket, people asking you, I mean, looking at you? Well, the feeling is I'm privileged. It's not every day your father becomes president. Um, and uh, also because I'm an actor, a lot of people know my face, they know who I am. Um, I always say this, to whom much is given, much is required. And I don't take it for granted. I'm humbled, very humbled. Um, 
And I always have that in mind. Uh, you have to find a good balance so that you are accessible because people look up to you. It comes with a term, whether you like it or not. You have to be reachable to people. And many people, your life is the testimony to many people. You never know who's watching. So you have to be um, always approachable and, and be of, you know, on the best mindset. Always stay on the positive side because your life, your very actions, the way you relate to people can change someone's life for the better or for the worse. Movie that you've acted, which movie that you would say has really challenged you? Um, Poison Bait. I did that with um, Leila Jansi and it rates up there with um, the performance in Adam's Apple season two with Shirley because the, the characters I played required so much from me that I had to reach deep um, and, and pull on all the experiences in my life to be able to deliver. So, yeah. So how does it feel like working out, busy man, businessman, reverend? Time management, you have to make time for yourself. If you don't, you're just going to break down. I enjoy playing tennis, builds me up and cardio, and then my stamina. So I make time early in the morning or late in the evening I play. It helps me unwind. And then of course with the rest of the thing, you have to just schedule what you have to do. Because sometimes you have to be on set, sometimes you have to, I have to preach. I have to prepare to preach. Um, sometimes I have to go, you know, handle business. Or I have to take care of my children. I have to go to the school. There's always something to do, but you have to plan. So that's how I manage. Eddie, yes. if I ask you to throw a challenge to three people, who will you go for? I'm definitely going to challenge Ama Kea Bebrese, Jocelyn Dumas. And then I'm also going to go for Chris Atto. Eddie, nice to have you on Chris's challenge. Thank you for having me. Good. I'm going to say you were a role model Thank you. to the youth and me as well. You have really inspired me. Thank you very much. Viewers, I hope you've enjoyed every bit from the stretches, the cardio, to the strength training and the challenge within the challenge. See you again on the next challenge. <laughs>